Hello everyone and thank you for coming back to the channel. Yes, come on in the house, come on in the house because we got some news to talk about. Mm-hmm. Y'all know we live in Atlanta. Yes, I do. Born and raised here. And the only outlet of news stations we have here, which is Channel 2, they're the most popular uh, station to always look at. It's been an oldie but good. You have Channel 5, Channel 11, Channel 46, but 2 is the main one, especially when we be having bad weather and storms coming through. They all, they're like the main staple of news broadcasting you want to look at. So Nene has definitely made the news. I don't know if it's been a slow month or a slow day, but they got her up there on television and letting us know what she did in the federal courthouse downtown in Atlanta, Ford County Courthouse, okay? And I'm like, Lord, Nene is playing Russian roulette uh, with her career. She's throwing the dice, and I'm going to have Silk Sonic help me out with what she's doing. Hold on, guys. Oh, there you go. Seven, seven, seven. Let's go. Y'all know y'all be on that crap table and, and, and you be throwing out the dice and they supposed to be on red or black or whatever and things just going around, spinning around, and then it just lands on something. That's what Nene is basically doing with her career. She's gambling and hoping it turns out okay. But I'm like, no, this is going to be part one of many videos to come. Okay, I'm just letting you know. So get situated, get seated, and hold on tight because we're going to have a lot of kikis, ha-has, and might be some real good pointers come out in the videos that's going to come ahead. But child, she is playing Russian roulette with herself with her brand and i don't know if she's ready for the truth it's like the truth is gonna slap her upside the head like the fountain of youth or you know how you have a euphoria and you get this grand idea that's how this uh ending of her career is going to knock her upside the head because ain't no amount of money you can get and you still be trying to live the same lifestyle uh that you want to continue to live uh, without a job, without even promise of any other employment opportunities, you're just going to be subtracting from your account just to pay your necessities like food, clothes, shelter, uh, all the utilities. You got your uh, lounge over there. You got to be paying property taxes on that. Well, probably not because that's in a sub. That's, that's, a, that's in a business, so you might not have to pay. Uh, on a building that you don't own because you are leasing that space if it, nobody never knowed it or anything about it she's leasing that space so she can kind of have the loss or whatever kind of what Peter Thomas doing at bar one you know what I'm saying it's leasing it's not on no land that you own that you can you know buy it lock stock and barrel but yeah she, she's got to pay a lot of things monthly and if you don't have any jobs and you don't have any job opportunities that are just waiting for you to partake of, that money's going to dry up like the Sahara Desert. Okay? But Nene has done it to herself. And can I prove it? Yes, because every outlet is out there talking about her. And if we roll the footage a little longer, we're going to show you in a few minutes what she's been doing for the last 24 hours up in 53,000 feet. She been taking pictures of her companion, okay? Because that's basically all I can give her other than saying she is messing with a married man. How trifling, how dreadful. But it's just how Nene is getting down in them streets, okay? My whole deal is Nene seek therapy. Seek therapy soon as possible okay because you're gonna probably need to be able to plea the insanity plea because about time bravo truly original nbc universal gets through with you you're gonna need therapy so instead of you chasing this little man putting him on photography moments given the correct optics which i don't know why you are sitting up there 
and he pretty much looked like he's sleeping in a casket. Okay, if we didn't have the other effects to know he's sleeping in one of those uh, first class um, seatings where you can recline and take a nap, this, that, and third. Something that coach and business and the other parts of the plane with the people and their occupancy, they have to sit straight up. Okay, their whole time um, traveling. Uh, so it's a little bit uncomfortable for them, but mo mostly the first class people, they ride in kind of plush style. And guess who is that? I know y'all know who that is. Mm. Apollo Nader. And you know he went to jail for a white collar crime. So what is he doing up there being besties with Naomi? I mean, did Naomi fit him for his custom uh, suit that he's wearing? I, I don't know. Skin is, it's like a skinny suit, isn't it, y'all? A skinny tailor made suit. And I was like, oh, so everybody's banking on Nene. Everybody's looking for Nene to get a good payday. Sorry, y'all. Had to take me a little swig of some Dr. Pepper, okay? My mouth was getting parched. But you mean to tell me? <sighs> well, well, it's the Three Musketeers. So I guess Todd has been replaced with Nione. So now we got the Three Musketeers. Of the good, the bad, and the ugly Western folks coming out here trying to be around Nene Leakes, thinking she's going to have a big payday and they want to take a part and be a part of that payday. Because as you know, uh, just as soon as uh, Apollo got out of jail and Nene had opened up her Nethia Lounge, he was there partying, having a little drinky drink, you know, listening to the live band she had. And they were just having a good old time with his uh, fiance Cherie, or Cherie, or Cherie. Ah, hell, I don't know. It's, I know it's an S word, okay? Maybe y'all get down in the comments and tell me what that child name was. But anyway, why they ain't got married? That's what I'm trying to figure out. I'm like, Apollo, not a... Why haven't you married this woman? Or maybe she don't want to marry you. Oh, we're curious. We're nosy. We want to know. When is your wedding date? Because you should have gotten married to her right after y'all got. Well, right after you got out of jail. And got yourself together. You know, for a couple of months. Y'all should have been married. But that's neither here nor there. We're really not talking about him. And his comments and goes on how he wanted to live his life after lockup. But girl. That is that gives one to pause. Look at that picture optics. Hmm. And what Apollo went to jail for? Hmm. And they both have one common denominator as a friend in between them, Peter Thomas. Hmm. And you also know that Peter Thomas did not pay Cynthia Bailey back the money that he owed her. She just summed it up as a loss, as a gift given, and you know, karma is a mug. That's all I'm. That's all I'm gonna say about that situation. But the three of them just don't look good together. Only thing I'm thinking about: what crime is gonna be committed, and when and where it's going to be plastered over the Atlanta newscasting stations? Cause that's basically what's gonna happen. Okay. But going back to Nene, going out here making legal claims defaming people challenging what she knows as a fact to be brought out in court and she's fifty three thousand feet up in the air taking pictures of her companion now what kind of bullshit is that okay nene therapy you're gonna need it baby so you need to be looking whenever you touch down in what state country or atmosphere you're in you need to seek counseling and you need to get your butt back to Georgia and get with your legal team because you're saying for all the world to hear you made the Real Housewives of Atlanta. But my question to you is, did you put down any money? Are you do you have a seat? I mean, like a board seat at the franchise? Are you just somebody who happened to knew? Happened to know about the show. Was invited in to be one of the stars of the show. If it made it that big. Which it did. Uh, it had its first starting. It was slow. And, and you know you were kept spicing it up. Because you were doing ratchet shit. You was displaying how a black woman shouldn't act out there in public. But they liked it. 
Most people like dramatic TV. They wouldn't participate themselves, but they like looking at somebody else being made a fool out of and how they're doing it. It's just like a little key key chocolate here, here, there. You know what I'm saying? But Nene, I think the plan of action would be for you to see therapy because like I say, Either way, you're not going to win. You're really not going to win. If you look at the grand scheme of things, baby, uh, and all the other possibilities you may have had, because you did say that somebody in Hollywood or higher up was blocking your opportunities. You had several opportunities prior to you coming out talking about racial indifference or uh, discrimination on the job or the platform that you said you created so are you you know I, I don't i'm not understanding it you are boycotting in your own little words the people who actually created the show put their own money and in investing in the show but you help make this come alive and that's understandable yes you were one of the top people because I think they really wanted Sheree to be able to show up and show out. Because she was married to an NFL player. Um, and he was coming with some baggage of a storyline. that she, You know, he wasn't treating you right financially. He wasn't treating the kids right financially. Then you had Deshaun Snow. She was also married to an NFL player. Or was, yeah, I think he was, in a, I think he was a football player too. And then you had... Uh, uh, Lisa Wu, she was married to the musician, the artist, the R&B crooner, Keith Sweat. So, you know, they had some heavy hitters. And you know we were sitting there trying to figure out what you going to tell us about Keith Sweat. But I don't think we really got out of her when she was on the seasons was basically he didn't want his kids to be shown on television. And we didn't really see anything of Keith Sweat or anything. And, you know, nothing really was being really told. So she really did not have a storyline. Then she got with another uh, cat and he sat up there. He didn't really want it either. He was, they both were trying to have a baby. She wanted to have another baby. And, you know, I guess to solidify herself to have more money coming in when she didn't feel like working. But, you know, a couple of the girls got tossed off. They were boring or they just didn't bring the ratings in as Nene was clowning around there cussing, you know, Dwight out here and there, getting in, getting into it with stylists, just everybody. You know what I'm saying? So that's what drove the Real Housewives of Atlanta franchise. They wanted black women who were successful in other career choices prior to getting on the show. Speaking of candy birds, and you know, like I said, Keith Sweat's uh, ex-wife or girlfriend, shit, I don't know, uh, Lisa Wu, uh, and Deshaun Snow, she was married. They were trying to uh, see what was happening in her life, and she really lived a very spiritual life, and she was giving her tithes. She was paying, she was taking us to church, honey, when she was doing her film, and it was peaceful. <laughs> you know, she's sitting up in the, the, you know, the stand, we call it the, uh, the audience stands, you know, where we look to be uh, looking at a preacher or the choir perform. And she was up there writing her tithes out and her offerings out. And, you know, most people don't want to see stuff like that that's made of good stock viewing. You know what I'm saying? Good television programming. They didn't want that. Barbara wanted, you know, the X factor. They wanted the stuff that stirs the pot and get people's uh, emotions jumping for the negative. You know what I'm saying? And that's what Nene gave them. Because she always be talking about she built them. She built. That's her baby. The this, that, and the third. No, you were just a good food actor that they had. Cooning for the stage and whatever and bringing in ratings. And if they felt they needed to toss you a million here two million there they know they would get you lock stock and um barrel to continue to act the food but when people were waking up being a little bit more conscious of how their black women were being destroyed torn down and made to look like step stepping and fetching you know what i'm saying uh and becoming more so of a house eager they were like, okay, no, nah, we don't want to be seen that way. Just like we don't want to be seen in all these older uh, 70s flicks with, uh, you know, showing us as pimps, uh, prostitutes, and maids. No, we have gone beyond that. 
we got education, so we need to see our black women being upheld and them being successful. And this is why they get this, that, and the third. Okay, that's what we wanted to see. And they were like, okay, okay, well, we're going to get rid of some ratchet people, you know. And then they, they start, you know, thinking about they weren't bringing in a lot of ratings, but they were getting paid a hell of a lot of money. And just so it seemed fair, they didn't just want to cut Real Housewives of Atlanta. They did some other franchises in other states as well. And they pretty much were trying to downsize on the OGs because they had paid them lucrative money. And like I said, it don't take much to go on television and act a damn fool, okay, and get them ratings popping. You know, you might not slap somebody upside the head, but you'll be using your mouth verbally and that sells. You know what I'm saying? I hate to say it, but wretchedness sells. And that's what people gravitate they gravitate towards. Um and it's just befitting of just what you like to look at on your spare leisure time. Or if you call yourself ratchet, you know, day one, of course, you're going to want to watch somebody that's ratchet too. So that's going to be your complete assignment and your pleasure for that moment. But, uh, yeah, Nene just went too far too fast. And whoever is representing her. They know, and I'm pretty sure they've told her this could go either way. Because we do live in a state, which is Georgia, where we have no laws to protect us. We don't, we don't have unions down here to fight the big fight for us when our employers are not doing what we feel they need to be doing. Looking out for their uh, workers or, you know, contractors. Because that's what Nene is. That's what I am. I'm contracted in uh, to do a certain job, do it well, and I get paid, get bonuses, and stuff like that. That's exactly what Nene and Candy and the rest of the crew that get into these reality shows, y'all are contracted to come in and do a job. And Nene just got, I don't know what Nene, just let these folk get up in her head and let her believe that she was the head uh, chief and that. HBIC and nobody could touch her and this, that, and the third. But, you know, you forgot about things, Nene. If Martin Luther King Jr. and Malcolm X and many, many more uh, pioneers couldn't get this stuff together when we call it racism, we call it discrimination, we call it uh, white privilege, uh, and we could go on and on and on and list several more things. Only the Lord is going to be able to help us from ourselves, okay? Because we have become a nation of wanting to step on everybody and anybody's toes to be at the top, okay? Because some people can poke straight up to the top and miss the whole journey of having those stepping stones and those moments where you gradually go up the ladder to the top. You know what I'm saying? Some people just compose straight up there. So, you know, how they say it, nothing ventured, nothing gained. Uh, how you get it is how you lose it. These are all adages that you should take in mind because when you get so high and somebody pulls you up that high and you know you shouldn't have been at that level at the stage that you are in. But they want you for something. What that something is. Only you and that person that's asking you. What they what they want from you. Or what they think you need to be doing for them. If you want to stay at this level. And it's quite uh, the same thing. As in the music industry. I know y'all have heard about these one hit wonders. And at first I thought well damn. You know they just must not have. I mean I thought they had the talent. You know they had the voice. And all this that and third. But <laughs> after listening of a, uh, to a lot of people. That have been in the industry. In some form of fashion. It's some weird shit. Go into that satanic business. I'm telling you people. Okay. And if you don't do certain things. That they want you to do. Then they start bringing you back down the, level, uh, the ladder. Okay. And then you will be an afterthought. But. <coughs> it's amazing. When I used to hear about what happened to this person. What happened to that person. Because they didn't necessarily like fall off. Because they got mixed up with drugs or alcohol. And they just came addicted. And it destroyed their lives. No. They were like. That's not for me. Some people will be boisterous and, and uh, tell you what they were privy to. 
I mean, you have even comedians telling you stuff. Even Cat Williams was up there telling you how they go to these celebrity parties or these big industry parties and they be seeing everything under the sun. And you be like, what? Why? <laughs> For real? You know what I'm saying? Be blowing their mind. And so people be like, no, nope, not going to do that. Not going to sacrifice myself. Nope. Not, not. And then that's how they become one hit wonders. But my thing is, Nina, you can't... um. You can't bite off the hand that feeds you and think you're going to grow another hand and it's going to be okie dokie. Everything's going to be right back where it was. No, anything I think Greg saved you a lot uh, from the industry. But for some reason, you just weren't accepting of what he was trying to teach you. Because I think you would have really been gone if Greg didn't and wasn't there for you to let you navigate and maneuver you around certain uh stumbling blocks you were putting in your you know your path and that mouth of yours <laughs> i said don't be like tasha k up there you know uh one of these bloggers that came to atlanta because she's not originally from atlanta but you see the whole thing she messed up with Cardi b they had their trial here in atlanta didn't too much people care about it because it's just like you know, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Nobody really want to take our word and just go fill the courthouse. And You know what I'm saying? That wasn't sens sensational enough or slanderous enough to get people up in there. Because really, any courthouse, unless they put it as a closed setting, because uh, they do some murder trials like that as well. You can always go into the courthouse and sit in on divorces or silver cases and, you know, just be a spectator. So that's nothing new. Uh, if you didn't know that, you can do that. Uh, I plan on trying to do stuff like that when I retire because it's kind of interesting. You know what I'm saying? You just want to see how the court of law prevails in certain silver cases and some criminal cases if you can get in on those criminal cases. But um, I don't, me personally, even if Bravo didn't go far with the suit and they just settled with Nene. She's not going to get enough money to be able to sustain her living of expenses. You see what I'm saying? Because if you ain't got, if you got a certain amount, say you got $25 million, they give you for this lawsuit that she's pertaining or trying to be a part of. Or I should say she elected to draw the first gun and shoot the first bullet out of the chamber. That shows she was serious about what she felt she needed from that company. You know, Bravo. How she drew fl first blood in a sense. So, you know, they're going to retaliate and they got the best lawyer. So, like I said, to make shit just go away, they will pay her X amount of dollars. But if you get that money, you receive that money, just know it's it's either hush money or however you want to look at it. But nine times out of ten, you're not going to have any more job opportunities issued to you. Oh my, you might have just going to fire your agent and your whole team out of this thing was resolved because you're not going to be working. You're not going to be working. You're not going to go up to Jewish people, white people, and demand stuff and try to make them feel a certain way. And if you don't have your cars lined up to combat whatever they're going to come at with you with, girl, you're going to lose majorly majorly that's why i said therapy therapy is what you're gonna need because you're trying to drag them and i just uh, found out on another story i'm gonna do on radar <laughs> online so that they're saying you owe back taxes child even though you say you have paid them off but that shit is uh resurfing okay and i didn't really know about that it must have must i don't know where i was when that story came out but i plan to do that that story and a few a little bit i need to go work on the other channel a little bit but i'm like you hanging around conspicuous people that do conspicuous things all right now we already know uh what's his name again peter thomas he ain't that good in running and sustaining a club or a lounge or a entertainment uh establishment something with 
any one of his bar ones have always reared itself into the negative. He's more in the red than he's he is in the black. Black meaning making money. Red is meaning you got a lot of deficits and things are not running smoothly because it's not enough money to circulate around to pay staff to pay you know whatever you're serving to pay your employees for working. So we know that we know what kind of uh, stuff Apollo Knighty was in. Okay. And we're just coming, getting introduced to your companion, Naomi. But it seems like you're buying him as well. So if you got this big pot of money and you have no type of income coming in, what do you, what you think going to happen to that money that you win off this lawsuit? It's going to finally get down to the last nickel and dime and dollar. And then what are you going to do? Get on, uh, how do you say, welfare? Go work at Walmart? I just think you could have did this better. It didn't have to be so publicized. Because uh, look at Mariah uh, on Merit to Medicine. She had the same deficit. She was going on with uh, Merit to Medicine and that concept, that idea. But you don't hear nothing else about it. And that's probably cause she's in a no where well you can't uh, what is it, an NDA where well you can't disclose anything about the case, and they probably paid her off. But see, her husband he still work. Okay, he still work. He's a doctor, surgeon, something. He's on specialty. So that's that's money still coming in on top of what she got as a settlement, and she may be investing well too. But where is your your livelihood? Because I know that lounge is taking every bit of your income, to even just to make payroll. So, I think you need to seek therapy, Nene. Therapy to why you feel that you had to come out and drag everybody down with you to make a point or to get your point across. Because even if they went to court and you lost... Do you actually think you should appeal? Because these lawyers out here, they'll get you, they'll get your money, they'll take your money, they'll say we have a strong case, and then why y'all in the first beginning, the middle part, shit going down south, you know what I'm saying? Then they go like, well, but we told you it could go either way, and all these other things. You don't think you by you digging up dirt on them, putting them in the spotlight, they ain't gonna dig up dirt on you. And get your own people that you work with on the show to turn against you. To save themselves. Because see when you up in that kind of ring. It's the survivor of the fittest. Okay. It's who can withstand what. Ain't no friends in that situation. Only money. And how much they can get into that. And what position you can put them in. By them helping you to get rid of you Nene. You the subject topic right now. So. Girl, therapy, therapy, therapy. And that's part one. I, sh I am been coming back with some more, okay? Because I ain't through with it. I ain't through with it. Because I just think you need, need to just, just go on into the sunset. And like I said, even with her bringing it up, how she did it, it's not going to be what people are going to want to say. Let's get Nene for this project. Because they already done, you already done got put on you and you're showing it in public as well that you feel like you're privy you're privileged and you're very dangerous to work with far as if the contract don't go right or how you feel it should go you're going to be blasting the company in social media you see what i'm saying you're not working with the company to make it a success you're working for you and seeing how it benefits you. And if it don't benefit you. Then you got to go tell what you know. From being in the inside of that industry. You got to. You know. Uh, how to say. Cheese eating. Uh, go tell everything about the company. This that and the third. Nene. Well y'all get down in them comments. Y'all let me know what y'all think about Nene. Sitting up there in, uh, in the air. 53,000 feet. Sitting up there taking pictures of him. No, he looked like he in a coffin or something, y'all, don't he? I'm like, Nene, what would make you want to take a photograph of somebody sleeping? Shouldn't you be down on the ground sitting, talking with your lawyers, your team, to see how and what and when and where we need to approach this situation? How am I supposed to be handling myself? 
How am I supposed to be looking? Because it's all about the optics and what you can prove in court. Because you can prove somebody who know did this crime. But if you could put enough evidence to shine on the opposing party, you can win something. And you just really got this man out of killing these four or five people because you told a good story. You made it believable and you convinced the jury. Because it ain't about really truth. It's about what you can prove and how you can sway the feelings and emotions of the jury. They can get it wrong too, depending on what was presented to them. You see what I'm saying? You open paradox box, par paradox, not paradox. What is that called? Pandora's box is what I'm saying. I'm going to get a Pandora box is what I was trying to say. And you never know what come out of that box. It could be for you. It could be against you. It can make you live. It can make you die. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about spiritually. Okay. So, Nene, you're going to need therapy. You're probably going to need some medication because it's not going to fare well with you. Because you're, you're fighting a long <laughs> battle. People have been fighting since the beginning of time, girl. That a labor thing is something else. Okay, because I'm pretty sure everybody can find some type of situation they went to through their jobs, out their years of living and working, how somebody um, discriminated against them. Whether it was for a position, whether it was for more money or whatever. You know, those who do what the employers want people to do and those of what people have morals and values that they're not going to do meaning to do in everything to get something done when it's probably being done underhandedly you see what i'm saying but it just is what it is nina is out there playing the uh she's gambling with her livelihood pretty much her life and she's just rolling the dice seven 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 let's go yes honey she playing the craps she's shooting craps for her life her livelihood. But y'all go check out Six Sonic uh, CD. I ain't trying to promote it. But it is slamming. I like every last song on that CD. But anyway. Y'all make sure y'all go to Make It Make Sense. Over there on the other channel. Um, it is in my drop down box. In my description. On this page. Where you can link yourself. And go straight to it. And it's also. Where is she else? Uh, my com community tab. On this particular platform. Okay. So y'all go on over there. And, and, and blow that one up over there. Okay. And I'll be over there soon. Cranking out more videos. Than what. I think I got three or four on there now. Um, but yeah. I need y'all to share. Sh share me out now. Share my stuff. Go on share that girl stuff. That's me. That's. I'm fam. Okay. Go on share my stuff. Okay. And I'll see y'all next video. Bye bye.